Hi everyone, Dan Torsel here again from Ski Cooper with an update on our Know Before You Go information. This uh, information is uh, kind of an evolving scenario based on you know what's been happening uh, with the COVID pandemic and it addresses some things um, that we had implemented earlier in the season and additionally you know adds a few more things in here. Overall I'd like to thank everybody for your cooperation and understanding as we've had to make some you know pretty unusual and significant changes in how we operate the ski area um, from you know purchasing uh, you know your, your, your lift passes to how we do our ski school, the rental shop operation, food and beverage, how you go to the bathroom, one-way flows, closed staircases, I could go on all day long. Um, a lot of thought and consideration went into developing the, uh, the plan that we have in place that was approved locally and at the state level here in Colorado with CDPHE, the, um, the Health Association. So just a, a few quick reminders. Um, you know, overall things have been going really well and um, we've had really good cooperation and compliance and I'm very happy about that. There are always a few folks that uh, push back a little bit and I do understand why uh, this is kind of an unusual scenario. Hopefully um, it, it starts to dwindle as we get, you know, toward the end of the season and then over the summer so that we can get back to some semblance of old normal uh, going into next year. But first thing I wanted to do is remind everyone the importance of wearing your mask. When you're in the base area, you know, once you get to the our port of entry, our single uh, point gate where you get into the area, uh, you must wear a mask. If you come without one, uh, we will have um, ones available for you uh, to wear. And if you'd like to get um, a permanent one, we can show you uh, to a retail shop where we've got a nice selection there. But the, uh, the message here is please, please, please do wear the mask, whether you agree with it or not, in order to keep this ski area open and providing you know, a fun place for you to come to. Uh, we've got to comply with that one. It's simply the right thing to do here right now. Um, so again, you, in the base area in all the buildings in lift lines, on the lift ride, um, please make sure that you do have the mask on. We will gently remind you, we're trying not to be uh, too overly police-like over this, but the fact of the matter is, um, it's simply a requirement that we can't let go. So yes, the message is, you know, please wear your mask. Um, it's, it's essential that we do this so that we can continue to operate and provide a place for you to come, get some fresh air, and um, enjoy some, some outdoor time. Um, along with the masking, I would ask you to please also um, maintain the six-foot social distancing requirement um, in all cases. Um, it's very important uh, that we don't congregate. So. Uh, next thing, the next reminder is that, um, you know, we need you to keep all personal belongings other than those things which you can keep on your person, in your pockets, or in a small backpack. Keep them in your vehicle. Um, don't bring them. Uh, you won't be allowed to go past unless you sneak past, and I certainly hope that uh, you good people don't do that. Um, they shouldn't come past the our port of entry. Um, so... Leave extra bags, extra clothing, food, um, the list goes on and on of things that we're used to, to bringing into the ski area. Um, but this year with, with the COVID situation going on and the plan that we have in place, um, it is necessary for you to keep things stored in your car. You know, the, the, the big saying at most of the areas uh, this year is make your car your mini lodge. Um, if you're going to bring, uh, you know, a cooler of food, leave it in the car, um, head out at uh, whatever your lunchtime is, and enjoy your lunch at the car. Uh, but please do not bring it into the area, um, or we'll ask you to take it back out. <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you do have food in a small backpack or in your pocket, please uh, bear in mind that you want to eat that outdoors, on the lift, or whatever. Um, our space in the lodge, due to the COVID restrictions, uh, under which we have to operate is very limited right now. And um, so our seating is very, very limited. Um, and so one of, the, uh, one of the caveats there is, please do not bring food into any of the buildings into the lodge uh, 
and plan on eating it there, we will kindly ask you to, uh, to take it back out. Uh, we've got signs posted. It's online. Um, so, you know, please cooperate with this one. It puts uh, some of the folks here in a really sticky situation um, when people push the limit with that one. Um, I do understand the frustration level with that, but for the time being, this is the way we've got to operate. So far, I think it's been, uh, been going pretty well with, with few exceptions. Um, so a few other things that may be new since uh, the first couple of videos that we did. We now have um, the restrooms are available seven days a week in Pando's Provisions, which uh, was formerly our children's center. It's the building as you come in. It's to the very right of the, uh, the main base lodge here in the main base area. Um, there is some seating in that, in that uh, building also, um, but we do have both men's, women's, and ADA restrooms available there seven days a week, um, which may not sound like a big deal, but that's much more convenient than having to uh, come out of the base lodge, walk down into the plaza area, enter the building, use the restrooms, and go back up around outside again. Um, these restrooms are more uh, on the same level as the, the deck and the main level of the base lodge. So, seven days a week in Pando's Provisions, you can go to the bathroom. Uh, just a few things to clarify. Uh, all of our food service options um, in the base lodge are currently available. As I said, our seating is somewhat limited, but we do have um, seating on, on the third floor of our lodge uh, in addition to, to on the main level. Um, so in the base lodge, we've got you know the base camp cafeteria with a full suite of uh, food items and, and, and beverages there. Uh, Katie's Pizzeria and Katie's Pub are both open uh, for business seven days a week. We do uh, now have a window service from the main base lodge deck into Katie's Pub and you can get you know adult beverages, soft drinks, um, and all the uh, food that's available at Katie's Pizzeria uh, from that window on the deck. And additionally, uh, just next to that, uh, to that window, to that service window, uh, we've got the tent up and have the, uh, the, the presidential grill is operating uh, with, with the famous cheesesteak sandwiches on uh, days when the weather permits. Um, although we have uh, put some sides on the, on the, on the, the tent there and we've been able to uh, you know, have that operation open more days than we sus had suspected. Um, another thing to, to mention is that we do request that you respect, um, we have a 30 minute time limit for our indoor seating since it is so very limited. We do have a lot of people uh, that would like to be able to come in and enjoy a bite to eat um, and get warmed up. Um, so please, you know, we've got our little table tents, you know, requesting the 30 minute time limit. It's also, you know, worth mentioning that we have a pretty stringent cleaning and disinfecting um, program in between seatings at each of these tables. So, um, you know, this all takes time and effort. Um, so I do ask that you, you know, respect the 30 minute time limit. Um, let's see, uh, outdoors, as I mentioned with, uh, you know, the window service and the grill um, open. We do have uh, three really nice big tents that, that are divided into several different rooms. Um, you can take your family or your cohort, your group, your bubble, whatever you call it, um, into one of these. Uh, provide some nice protection on inclement days. Um, so we've augmented you know, our seating capacity uh, to the best of our ability. Also want to mention the Ridgeview Cafe, the Mountaintop Yurt, is open seven days a week uh, with a full menu there. Uh, burgers, brats, hot dogs, chili, snacks, candy, fruit, you name it, got all that there. Additionally, soft drinks, um, adult beverages, we carry beer, wine, uh, hot mulled wine, which has been a very um, popular thing uh, this winter. Uh, we, we do have very limited indoor seating there, but we also have uh, quite a bit of outdoor seating. And as spring comes, we'll be uh, adding more to the to the outdoor seating area. Um, and from there, the views are incredible. Um, so I do, if you've never been there, uh, give the Ridgeview Cafe a try. It's a, it's a great experience. Um, so anyways, that's kind of it for now. I mean, we've all been having a great time. Um, you know, conditions have been really good. The new Tennessee Creek Basin area um, is open um, with all of our uh, new expert skiing terrain. Um, so we're very excited about that. 
that's all I got for now. We'll probably do another one of these uh, in a couple weeks here, uh, going into spring. Hopefully things ease up a little bit more with the the, the COVID situation and um, uh, you know where we stand on the on the COVID meter and how we have to operate here um, at the ski areas in the state of Colorado. So again, thanks for listening. Please come and see us, and uh, looking forward to getting back up on the hill. Take care.